boxes and he was a former Thailand champion at 147 pounds. There you can see the tail of the tea. Tail of the tea? Tail of the tea. It should be called tail of the tea, but it should be Muay Thai. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now that you said it. Never thought of it that way. I was just about to say you can see that the debutant Yod Sen Chai is the taller of the two fighters. Standing eight centimeters taller, in fact, than Kitasak. The last time we saw Kitasak, unfortunately, he lost in the final of the Thai Fight League tournament to Warajak Lek due to a massive cut that he sustained in that fight. The referee in charge for this one is Pulkit Ram Prayun, judges ringside. Yong Yut Apaiso, Kawan Ingobon, and Patanan Pong Sapan. Yeah, fair to say, I don't really think, despite the cut, don't think Kitisak was hurt that badly at all. I think it didn't take him too long at all to get back to training. He feels no pain. But it's going to be a tough match for him today. As we said, Yot San Chai, a former Thailand champion at 147 pounds. Yeah, not only that, he's been fighting around middleweight, about 72.5 kilograms, so he's slimmed down to being this tournament 69 kilograms. That could be a massive advantage for him. Let's see how he comes, though, with the ropes wrapped around his hands. He's used to the three round format, but not used to the ropes. So yeah, Kitty exactly. Sack targeting the legs straight away here. Attempted that big right hand. And it's fair to say that Kitty Sack, he's very much used to the ropes. <laughs> Absolutely. However, he is a slow starter. Can, the same can be said though for your Sanchai. Oh, swingy right hand there from Kitty Sack. Attempted right kick reply from your Sanchai. Oh, big uppercut there by Kitty Sack. Warning shot for Yod Senchai. Started well, Kitty Sack. I mean, you'd imagine how upset Kitty Sack was when he lost in that tournament final. But this time he has another opportunity to win a tournament. Oh, big elbow there. However, this time Kitty Sack, he needs to rely on his teammates as well. True. <laughs> Who will be seeing here tonight? Oh, is there a cut? Over the right eye of Kitty Sack. There, there is. is. Oh no. Has it reopened the cut from his last fight? Another left elbow comes in there from Yod Senchai. Oh, attempted flying elbow there and a big right hand by Kitty Sack. Yeah, and again. Kitty Sack really getting to the zone right now. What we know from Kitty Sack is that you've got to hurt him in the round, in the first round, in order for him to wake up. Indeed, you do. For some odd reason. <laughs> Big right hand there from Kitty Sack. Not sure what the signs behind it is or anything like that. Muay Thai special. Yeah. Kitty Sack being the aggressor, but here comes Yonsen Chai. I gotta say, Kitty Sack becoming a little bit too predictable, throwing the same one two combinations again and again. But that wasn't predictable. However, Yonsen Chai saw it coming from a mile away. That was slick by Yonsen Chai, sweeping someone in midair. Right hand, but again, blocked. Yeah, it's a good technique from Yon Sanchai, because let's be honest, no one really trains for it. No one really trains to sweep someone in midair. Good knee to the midsection there for Yon Sanchai, and an elbow on top of that. Yon Sanchai, dare I say, looking really good in there. He is. Crisp strikes here by Yon Sanchai. Oh, and again with that. Right elbow as Kitty Sack recklessly pushes forward. End of round number one here on Thai Fight League. Yotsen Chai, in our opinion, Kevin. Yep. We feel he was just a little bit too slick, a little bit too fast at certain points in that fight for a very aggressive, very game with Kitty Sack. And in terms of damage, I mean, there's no doubt about it. You know, Sanchai won that first round. It's so accurate, so slick. Yeah. And I do say it often, you know, we are trying to- That was to beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> We do say 
big opportunities come people's way, come fighters' way here on Thai Fight League if they impress. And so far, I've been very impressed with what I've seen from Yod Senchai. Yep, I mean, we're going to see a few more matches of Yod Senchai. Yeah, I'm sure the management are already starting to look at him and contemplate and think about where he would fit potentially on the Thai Fight team. And just to say that, a massive right hand from Kitty Sack comes in and lands flush. Yod Senchai, though, composed, didn't look like it bothered him at all. I mean, I gotta say, um, Thai Fight League is all about bringing in fighters for the provinces and just see if they can earn a place here on Thai Fight. However, Yor Sanchai, being a former champion, he's already been at the top. So, very difficult ask for Kitty Saka. One might say, I mean, it's a bit overpowering. Yeah, very much so. And he's Kitty Saka, to be fair, he could probably compete at what, 67 kilograms? So he's moving up to 69 for this fight. And right now, he's fighting someone who's moving down. And you can see the size difference. And I feel like there's a power differential as well. As Jotsen Chai, look at that head movement. Then he delivers more crushing elbows to Kitty Sack. The referee's taking a big look at the eyes of Kitty Sack right now. As he stumbles backwards, more blood pouring down the face of Kitty Sack. Once again here on Thai Fight League. Oh my goodness, Kitty Sack is in a world oh of trouble. My word. It was only a matter of time the oh referee had my. to step in. This, he's being showered by his own blood right now. Oh my goodness, I mean, we oh. know how much of a warrior Kitty Sack is, but sometimes I think it's a little bit too much. I think the doctor has to take a look at this, Kevin. There's no way he could continue. That's, oh, look at that. That is a big There's gash. That's not a cut, that is a gash. There's just no way. Thank you, Doctor. Absolutely correct decision. Poor Kitty Sack once again. That is the correct oh. call, but how impressive was Yacht Sanchai? It's amazing. I mean, you gotta love the chances of the South winning this tournament with him on their team. For everyone watching around the world on the Thai Fight YouTube International channel, who've been watching week after week, you know how good Kitty Sack is and how tough he is and how entertaining he is. <laughs> He made that look very easy, Kevin. He very did. easy indeed. Too easy almost. Let's have a look at the highlights. Let's see the handiwork and the elbow work, should I say, of Yod Senchai. There. Time and time again. Bang. And again. Three, four in a row. Oh. I mean, there are levels to this. And fair to say that Yod Senchai is on a completely different level to Kitty Sack. So Yod Senchai, like we said, is representing the South, also on his team, Ragnarong and Mungsap will be in action here tonight. And for Lower Isan, the team that Kitty Sack represents, we will see Pet Ek and Busan. But, whew, three points in the bag for Team South. Very impressive. Remember that name, Yotsen Chai. Easy to remember. Yep. <laughs> What a debut! Stay with us, bout number six. The winner by technical knockout is Black Corner, Yon Sanchai Nayok Eta Salah!